In this video, I'll try to practically implement this kind of IP CCTV camera setup. I will be using just two cameras for this demonstration. This one is a ZK Teco brand of IP camera. It is a PoE camera. And this other one is a Jovision brand of IP camera. It is non-PoE. I have my network switch here. It's a PoE switch already powered on this is the nvr that would be using this is how the back looks it's a non-poe nvr and we we'll would be using this tv set as the monitor to the setup i have a couple of network cables cut six network cables that are available through which would be establishing the connection between the camera or the cameras and the network switch as well as the network switch to the MVR as well. So the cables are available. So let's start with the connections. The ZK Teco camera is a PoE camera. So in connecting it using the network cable, we can just directly plug into the Ethernet port of the camera and we can plug the other end into the poe switch direct like this so that does it for the first camera for the second camera instead of connecting a network cable to the ethernet port direct and plugging the other side into the poe switch directly it wouldn't be able to work like that because the camera is a non-poe ip camera so what we'll do is that i would introduce a poe splitter so the cable i have plugged to the poe switch would be plugged into the poe splitter which will then power up the poe splitter and we'll have the video and then the power separated in order to feed into the camera so what that means is that now we have power separated so we can plug in the, the video connection and then also the power can be plugged into the camera this way so it means that we didn't go direct into the poe switch but we have the cable coming from the poe switch coming into the poe splitter the splitter has provided us with video and power and that is what is going into this second camera so it means we have linked the two cameras to the network switch what remains to be done is to use another network cable and this time around we'll plug from the uplink port of the switch any of the uplink ports can be used so we'll plug into the first one and the other end of the cable will then be plugged into the nvr so here is the back of the nvr that we want to use and we'll use the lan port on the nvr so the cable coming from the switch comes into the lan port of the nvr i want us to stay with the nvr because we have some other few connections to do the first one i would want to put in a usb mouse which we'll be using to navigate around the nvr so i'll plug it up to the one of the usb ports on the nvr and then also the display for the nvr which is an hdmi i will use the hdmi not the vga you can use the vga though but i want to use the hdmi and so i also have here an hdmi connection from the tv screen that we are using currently to monitor this system or the TV monitor we want to use to monitor the system. So the HDMI will also go into the HDMI port of the NVR. And from there, we can plug in the power into the NVR as well. So let me look for the power and plug into the, the NVR. Here is a DC power connection, which I plugged to a power socket. I'll plug it up also into the NVR. And then the beep tells you that power has come into the NVR. So, 
I'll put it up. You can see the the front of the MVR it's loading up as well. So let's pan to the screen as well. So this is what the monitoring screen is showing currently. And what you see on the screen is the interface of the NVR. So wait patiently for the NVR to load up. Then we can take it up from there. All right. So the NVR has successfully loaded up and you can see the pictures of the two cameras that we are using. When I shake the cameras, you can see that it is the cameras that we connected that are shown on the screen currently and so this is how that setup that we have shown can be implemented practically there may be times where you could have to or you may have to search for the cameras or carry out some few configurations but basically this is the setup depending on the mvr you are using you may have to carry out settings that will enable you to view the cameras as i also have Thank you so much for watching. If you find value in this video, please ensure you subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.